took the ferry. The ferry is very interesting. We took the ferry from the south coast to the north coast. We stayed at White Sands, which is a very good property, very excellent facility. Um, the pools, the, the beaches at White Sands were just really good. Mombasa generally is a hot place and because of the rain, it kind of cooled the environment as we were there. We did a big tour of Fort Jesus and then also through the town. And the tour guide did a beautiful job in explaining um, all the old history. This is a couple of centuries back during slavery time, what happened, how the Portuguese and the Arabs uh, the parts they played in the slave trade. Now you are in Nyali, but of course remember you're in the country Kenya. Briefly, I'll give you some small brief. This country uh, covers a surface area of more than 500 plus square kilometers. And uh, we are bordered on the northern side by Southern Sudan and Southern Ethiopia, on the eastern side by uh, Somalia, on the western side by Uganda, on the southern side by Tanzania. Remember that Kenya is a country divided into, into two equal parts in the middle by the zero line degree of the equator. Precisely speaking, Kenya is a country whereby for a long time we were colonized by the British. But after a long war of independence, known as the movement of Mau Mau. Because remember, Kenya was the only country in Africa that had a code word for fighting for liberation. So now we just came to know the PIN and the passwords recently, but Kenya coined its password since 1950s and early 1940s. The word Mau Mau meant Mzungu Arudi Ulaya, which meant by that time, the British should go back to Europe. And then the other one, Mau, was Mafrika Apate Uhuru, the African gets liberated. Mau Mau. Something very important. This is a place whereby all these communities here, they speak the same language, the Akamba community, the Wakamba community. You see that gentleman there? There's no school they go to learn the art of carving. He's actually making a, a, a lion. That's a piece of a lion, but from Nimtu, Nimu. This is Nim tree. The Nimu here is actually not yet done. There's a lot of work is going to undergo for it to become a big special piece. You can actually touch it, no problem. Feel free. Then this one over here is a plant called the durian. It's called sometimes the stinking fruit. Here you've got migration of the Maasai Mara right over here. And if you can have a look at it, it's black and white because officially ebony wood is the most hardest wood in the world, ebony tree. So you can see there are many wildebeests crossing over the mother and there's one crocodile over here, jumping over. So you see, like this gentleman now, he's making out of the ebony wood, the big five. This is an ebony wood, see that? In the middle of it is black and the outer part is white. The elephant, the buffalo, the rhino, the lion and the leopard. You can see the elephants here, the white elephants. So this one over here is a male papaya. You know in papaya family you've got male and female. Did you ever know that? Look at the female one behind you there. It's got some fruits over the other one over there. Have a look from this side. That's a female one.
Jumbo. My name is Yahweh. My name is also Kagonia. <laughs> I'm having a fantastic time on the trip. Um, I was invited by Managi, by Judy, and we've been friends for like 30 years or something like that. And we've always said we wanted to come and we finally made it. I'm enjoying myself immensely. Everything is wonderful. I love the weather, the, the culture, the history. I'm loving everything about it. Um, I definitely want more people to come from the United States to come hear the history, to come see it for yourself. I'm gonna plan another trip, bringing my daughters and my grandchildren, and we're gonna do this again. Robin McCall. I'm also here with my granddaughter Gianni as well. I came on this trip because I'm a very close friend to Angela Ukiru and Judy Ukiru who are very close to me. They mentored me and um, throughout the years I've always been interested in coming to Kenya to see the motherland and it's been an amazing, amazing experience being adopted into the Miragoli tribe as well as learning about the, the culture in different areas, relaxation on the beach. I really would love to bring my whole family back in a couple of years. I'm Michelle Brown and I was invited by the Yahweh's to come and experience Kenya with them. Wow. This has been an amazing trip. Typically when you go somewhere, you go to one city, you get to see one city. Here we're able to see practically the entire countryside of Kenya. We are able to go to multiple cities and um, different areas and experience different things from the small villages to the large cities and then eventually out to the safari. I can't wait. It's been amazing so far. So thank you. <music> 